These Ghanaians would have been left without a voice in representation in Parliament from 18th October 2024 until 7th January 2025, when the ninth Parliament can duly be constituted in Ghana. But let me move on to Rodlin now. Um, Rodlin, we spoke about this, some aspects of this last week. There has been a new development. Has your position shifted in any way? It hasn't. Let's see. Um, we are still having predictable outcomes. And it's even getting more ridiculous. Because for me, ego is at play here. On, on both sides, um, uh, that's the uh, Atu Forsen, Honorable Atu, uh, I'm sorry, um, what's his name? The Afenio Markings. The Afenio Markings. And um, at the moment, I think the CJ. He, she wants to exercise her powers. Um, I listened a bit, and the part that got me was that part, October to January. These people were just going to lose about four months of non-representation. Yet we have people, Sal, mm -hmm. four years. Are these people more Ghanaian than the people of Sal? Santro Filolobi, Akpafu, and Lekebi, eh? Yes. Are they more, I mean, she shouldn't even say that. She shouldn't have said that at all. Because for me, she was trying to find a good enough reason to say whatever she wanted to say. Um, it's, it's quite unfortunate that at the moment, there's, the judiciary is ranking so low in the minds of Ghanaians. And that, for me, is not good for our democracy. Um, I don't know how we are going to salvage this situation because um these are people whose um tenure of office is almost impossible to get them out so easily so it means that we might be saddled with them for a while and if it's this the way this is the way they are going to be handling <coughs> political and legal cases because i don't know whether this case was handled politically or legally it's 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 not a political it's case. A, you see, it's a constitutional it is, matter. It, 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 according to political courts, lenses, it's a it's, it's a, a constitutional, it's matter constitutional interpretation with political lenses. That that's the way I see. It. Because the players who brought it before the court are, are political. politicians. Yes, so okay. it's, it's a constitutional matter with political lenses, and somehow we are asking ourselves whether um, the CJ is actually listening to Ghanaians is actually reading in between the lines against the party constitution that's the MPP party constitution that of the standing orders of parliament and that of the national constitution mm -hmm. so for me I even asked myself I expected the AG that's the attorney general to be on the side of what is in the constitution and not be leaning like i saw it towards what the cj or um afenio markings had brought to court it's about time you think he's going contrary yeah, to what's so. in the constitution yeah yeah, yeah. but it's, it's what's in the constitution it, I, that they are trying to decipher in this matter well they are deciphering it wrong we can all read but that's for the judges to say we can all read like like my 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 colleague here said the constitution was not written by lawyers in fact, the, the constitution was written by butchers, carpenters, teachers, and all the other people that but represent, there's a reason, represent this country. There's a reason that there's a clause stating in the constitution that if a matter needs interpretation, it be brought to a matter in the constitution needs interpretation, be brought to the Supreme Court. It's because the framers of the constitution foresaw that there will be provisions in the constitution which people will have adverse or different meanings to. It's the same provision, but when you read it, you feel it's, it, it means one thing. Someone else reads it, they feel it means another thing. They can come to the Supreme Court for interpretation. There's a reason that provision is there because of situations like this. Even though it's, it appears simple to you, it's black and white, but people might infer different meanings to one, one statement in the Constitution. It was used, and it favored a group, and they accepted it. So what's different about the wedding? We have not changed any, any uh, page yeah. or any wedding in the Constitution. It is the same Constitution that was okay for them, so why is it that now it's not okay? That's, that's my question. So I'm saying that 
that constitution that is written is sold everywhere. We all buy it, we all read it, and we all understand it the best way we can. And I am saying that almost every political party has this gloss picked up from the constitution that if you leave and you go independent against a party's candidate, you are out. So if the national constitution is saying that, then I don't see any reason why it should be interpreted in any other any way. Any other way. All right.